Today I'm going to show you how to draft a neckband pattern for an overlapped v-neck just like this. If you're looking for one for a center seam v-neck, check the description if you want to know how to sew either one of them. Those videos are also linked in the description. Same if you want to draft a scoop neck tee neckband or you want to sew one, linked in the description. Let's get to it. All right, so I have my pattern pieces overlapped at the shoulder seam here. So this is the center front and this is the center back. And then I've overlapped them at the seam line and I've drawn it onto a piece of paper. So if you are starting with a pattern that doesn't have a V-neck already, you're starting with a scoop neck, you can do that. Um, and it's pretty easy to do. You just need to determine how deep you want your V-neck. If you've already sewn your scoop neck tee, okay, I kind of want it to be a little bit lower. It doesn't take much, by the way. Um, you could just draw it in there, just like this. So now you have a, a V-neck, just like that. So we're gonna ignore this line here. And now we're gonna draw in our seam allowance going all the way around the neckline. Now, if you're starting with a pattern that never had a neckband, you're going to need to uh, subtract the width of your neckband from the neckline that you're using. So if your uh, current pattern was a scoop neck and you just hemmed the neckline and didn't have a neckband, to decide on how wide you want your neckband to be, I'm gonna make mine 7 eighths of an inch, which is just under an inch, and you would subtract that amount to the entire neckline. And then you're gonna put your V on there, and then you're ready to go come back here when you've done that. All right, so now I've got my seam line drawn onto the neck here. And so, like I said, I'm gonna make my neckband about 7 eighths of an inch wide. So I'm gonna draw a parallel line to my seam line, to this red line here, the width of my neckband. All right, now I'm going to extend my center front. Just make sure it goes through that. And then same with my center back, goes through to that. All right, next we're going to fold our piece of paper here. And we're gonna trace this V-neck onto the other side here. I can see mine through the paper. So we'll do this and this. Just like that. All right, and now we're gonna extend this line all the way down. Make sure you stay at that same width that you wanted right there, all right? So now we're gonna measure this length from here all the way to the center back. All right, and make a note of that measurement. Everyone's will be different. All right, and so now you need a piece of paper. And now you're gonna take that measurement and you're gonna multiply it in two by two. Now you're gonna add seam allowance twice. All right, and so let's see what that looks like here. All right, I've added a little paper here, and now I'm gonna draw this line for that total amount, and then I'm gonna tell you the breakdown of those amounts again. All right, so again, so we're gonna have our neckline measurement and we're going to double it, so do that twice. Then we're gonna add the seam allowance for either end twice. So we're gonna do, for me, my seam allowance is 3 eighths of an inch, so I'm gonna add 3 eighths of an inch twice. So I'm gonna add 3 quarters of an inch. And then that is now your finished length of your neckband, so we can square up, make sure you get a nice square ends here. Okay, now for the width, what you need to know is the height of your neckband, which you already knew from when you did your first line. You're gonna double that, and then you're gonna double your seam allowance and add all four of those numbers together, and that's the width of your neckband. So for me, that's gonna be two and a half inches because my finished neckband will be seven eighths of an inch, and then I have three eighths of an inch seam allowance. Make sure that your rectangle is a perfect rectangle, especially when you're doing knits and things like that because knits are already tough to cut. Now for your grain line, you're going to do this most likely, you're gonna be doing it perpendicular to the long edges here. So the rule for me is I do my neckband on the greatest stretch. So if this is the stretch, 
That's how I cut my neckband. Now, you can also mark the center. I highly recommend you do that right now. Otherwise, when you watch my video, I'm gonna make you do it there. <laughs> so you can fold your paper in half. Mark your neckline on both long edges. And like I said, make sure you're precise. You are now ready to cut out your neckband. If you wanna know how to sew this, check the link in the description for an overlap V-neck. And if you want a center seam V-neck, I have those links too for cutting and sewing and for a scoop neck as well. Happy sewing and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.